Ooh, Lord, the Met Gala this year was a mess. Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to talk about the Met Gala 2022 edition. And honestly, there's like a lot to say this year, but not much of it is incredibly positive. So let's get into it. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, like maybe some of it is positive, but we're here today to review some of the best and worst Met Gala outfits that really walk the red carpet on Monday. And normally if you've seen any of my fashion review videos, Videos in the past, you know, I used to do this from the comfort of my own blanket because I am not a fashion expert by any means. But I feel like since it is the Met Gala that we're talking about, I should do a little something. So in preparation for this video, we came prepared. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> so hello, hi. Let's get into it. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video because both of those things help out this algorithm so, so much and it would mean so, so much to me. So I'm actually gonna give you some time to leave a like on this video while I fix my little ascot that I got going on here. Are you ready? Cool. <laughs> So, the Met Gala. If you're unfamiliar with what the Met Gala is, honestly, you may be living under a rock. But to give a quick explanation, the Met Gala is an annual event that is thrown at the Met Museum in New York. And it's basically supposed to be like the pinnacle of fashion in one night. A bunch of designers buy out a bunch of tables and invite celebrities, influencers, politicians, etc., to wear outfits that are generally on theme with the Met's vision for the year. So this year in 2022, the theme for the Met Gala was Gilded Glamour. And when you say Gilded the glamour you may be asking what does that mean well I actually don't know so let's look it up together so according to this random website that I'm looking at Gilded glamour is described as the fashion from the 1870s to 1890s during the gilded age when people were just really rich there was a lot of industry and the American dream was dreaming a lot of women's wear were corsets stuffed shoulder cushions bustle pads and whatever crinoline is and men's wear was like formal with tuxedos and stuff of that nature so with that said that was the theme of this year but a lot of celebs outfits this year may or may not have necessarily fit into that theme and we're going to talk about it so how this is going to work is we're going to look at these celebrity outfits one by one and give like some immediate thoughts reactions and try and give like very quick takes for these because there are a lot of celebrities and a lot of outfits that that really came through the red carpet this year. Some of them were good, some of them were bad, some of them are okay, so I created my own little ranking list based on how we usually do things here on Emergency. So how we're gonna rank these outfits is on a scale of went home hungry, did not give us anything, nibbled, chewed, ate, devoured, and feasted for the top tier outfits this Met Gala season. And I'm so excited, let's actually talk about it. With that out the way, I just wanna talk about one specific group of people that automatically gets put in like the worst dress list for the Met Gala and that's every single man in a suit and not just any suit the suit like a typical suit typical tux I know it's like on theme with like the times of the Gilded Age like men being in suits but it's boring it's tired like honestly the McGala should ban suits because it's so overdone it's so outplayed it is setting us back in men's fashion I feel like there's so much more that we could be doing as a society for men's fashion and some people this year actually did step up and show us what that could be but for everyone in a suit I'm looking at you Jared Leto I'm sorry it's not it for me. But with that out of the way, the first outfit we are going to be talking about is bad. Bunnies. So this outfit is definitely something. He is wearing a Burberry trench coat with a puff sleeved dress made by, I'm sorry if I butchered this name, Ricardo Tischke. And honestly, this is what I'm talking about when I say elevating men's fashion. It's giving us something different. It's taking the typical mold of a suit, but then slapping a dress on it. And he has a little half up, half down going on with his hair. Like this is just different. And I can appreciate that. I feel like at the Met Gala, men should be trying to do something different, something out the box, if you will and this this is that like I really do appreciate this as a man in a suit right now I can appreciate this so I have to say Bad Bunny feasts he feasts he mass consumes like this is good work Mr. Bad Bunny I love you by the way in case that wasn't obvious. And next up we have Megan the Stallion who's wearing this beautiful Moschino dress. It's really giving gilded glamour for sure. Also quick plug to my friend Obi does because he actually took this picture right here. He is a wonderful celebrity photographer. So good at what he does. Go check out his links down in the description below to check out more of his stuff. Like I said, wonderful black celebrity photographer. Like love him. But yeah, Megan here understood the assignment. Like this is definitely giving. Like it's fitting the theme. I mean just like look at her. Like look at her. She just looks powerful. Opulent. Like she also 
also I have to say she feasts I honestly wish that the dress itself was a little bit more like extra but yeah she feasts now we move on to miss Kylie Jenner who's wearing an off-white wedding dress made by Virgil and honestly I understand the intention that was behind this like I get like the whole commentary on like America and like it's a wedding but you're also playing baseball with your baseball hat it's honestly to be frank not giving I hate to say it like this was not the look like Kylie usually has some good looks like I think back to the look that her and Kendall gave where they're like orange and purple like that was a look this I don't know I don't know I'd say that she's nibbling here nibbling at best if I'm being honest and since we're on the topic of Kardashians let's talk about Kim because I feel like the Kardashians this year really just weren't giving what they normally do Kim is wearing Marilyn Monroe's happy birthday Mr. President dress that was in like the believe it or not museum and honestly I don't think this was the event to break out this dress like I really don't think this was the event to break it out because she looks good of course I just think that it's a little too understated for the event and I feel like if she was going for the full Marilyn Monroe I would have liked to see in bigger hair I'm not a huge fan of like the blonde bun I just think it's kind of underwhelming overall I hate to say it but I think it's underwhelming so again nibbles across the board so getting back to people who really did that let's talk about Miss Tiana Taylor and Winnie Harlow because hello they both feasted devoured cleaning the whole plate with no crumbs because like look at this look at this once again this one picture of Tiana Taylor was taken by Obi but like look at them they look magnificent I really like the theme that was happening this year of like suspended headwear and like dress wear like this sort of like exoskeleton type beat and Tiana's really doing that with her Iris Van Herpen dress and headpieces actually I think they have the same designer for both of them like I really love this the headpiece on Winnie Harlow there's something majestic about that. There's something magical about it. I'm not sure how much it fits in the theme. It looks opulent. Theme-wise, I don't know. But look-wise, this is giving. Like, this is absolutely giving. I I have no words. Jack Harlow and Givenchy. Boring. That's all I'll say on that. Also, Jack, leave Emma alone. And speaking of Emma, Emma Chamberlain, might we say. Emma Chamberlain's outfit is interesting. It's on theme. I think it's cute. I feel like Emma always tends to opt for something that's kind of simple. And I really, really just want to see her in something extra. Like, I want to see her in some extra extra stuff maybe next year at the Megala because she or whatever brand is inviting her out always has her in some like simple like dainty sort of vibe I want to see her really just like show out I want to see her give so for that I say that Emma eats but that's it she she eats Vanessa Hudgens Vanessa Hudgens we've talked about this in the Coachella videos we've talked about this in the Coachella videos Vanessa Hudgens is the queen of Coachella in my opinion but I did not expect her to also come and eat at the Met Gala like hello she's wearing this beautiful Moschino gown and <sighs> like does she ever not deliver like I feel like this is giving is it on theme I mean kind of it has like the shoulders but overall it just looks good it looks so good like she devours she really just devours like I love 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 whatever Vanessa Hudgens delivers because she tends to not miss I have to say it she tends to not miss now let's come back to some of the men because some of them did actually show out this season first and foremost Evan Mock I'm sorry he's fine for one but two this is how you fit the theme this is how you step out like Evan this is interesting like showing a little bit of skin the little v-line showing a little skin and I don't even know what the neck thing is called like that old-timey I'm gonna call it a neck bib I'm sorry <sighs> Yeah, he gives. He really does. He really does. He eats in this. He does eat in this for sure. For sure. Now Kid Cudi. I normally really do love Kid Cudi because he is one of the few men in the industry that consistently like tries to step out the box. And he definitely does this here. He definitely does this here. He's wearing Kenzo. And honestly, it's giving Houdini. I'm sorry. It's giving blue Houdini. It really is giving blue Houdini. I'm sorry. It is. It's like mildly different. It's still a suit, but it's like a cape. I don't know. It's Kid Houdini to me. Like that's 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 all that's all I have to say. Like he nibbled, maybe chewed. But points to him for being different, you know? Mr. Sean Mendez. It's a little different from the traditional suit. He really just does look like a Disney villain. Like he looks like some kind of villain, like Dracula type B. Like, I don't know. Oh wait, I'm seeing here that maybe this is meant to be one of the princes from Disney for real. But yeah, it's interesting. He chews. He definitely does chew. And taking a break from Sean, let me be messy and talk about Camila Cabello. Camila's dress 
dress is interesting. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't think I fully understand the concept. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick. Okay, can we talk about one of my favorite outfits of the night? It's from the same designer that did Tiana Taylor and Winnie Harlow. Frederick Robertson? Come on. Come on. Like, this is interesting. This is eye-catching. Like, this is, like, what? Like, it's really giving exoskeleton, and I love it. Like, between the eye makeup or just the spines that are coming out of, like, all of his body like i i love it i really just love it i love it i can't express that enough like he devours he feasts he does it all love that look and finally i think the last man that i'm going to talk about is conan gray and conan gray is wearing valentino again and what did i say last week with the last coachella video oh right that conan loves himself a platform boot and what's he wearing it's kind of like a heel but a platform boot slash heel situation and this is very different this is very different for conan again he has the cape like he did with weekend one of coachella but this time it is in all white and it looks kind of gilded i really like how this is different here i like how this is different for conan i really like how it's pushing men's fashion in the right direction i just don't personally like it i'll say it i don't personally like it i'm not a huge fan i love the poses that he does with the outfit the instagram post that he posted like that looks really cool and i really do love it i just am not the hugest fan of the outfit overall so he did eat he did eat but it's just not my favorite okay now it's time to talk about the heavy hitters the heavy heavy hitters arguably the best dress of the night in my opinion and just matching the theme and just the wow factor like being really eye-catching first things first i'm sorry Gigi hadid Gigi hadid and versace i'm sorry she feasted she feasted you cannot argue with me she did not feast like she pulled up in the big red puff in new york even like the hair too like the sticky hair like i just love this look the all red is powerful the corset is on theme with the gilded ages but like modernizes it a bit like I just love this look so so much it's giving opulence it's so different it's so interesting and so excessive and I feel like that's just like what I'm looking for out of Met Fits so yeah Gigi you feasted you feasted down next up we're going back to back Janelle Monet Janelle they ate like Janelle really mm, like it's simple yet powerful yet so on theme I just really love this look I just really love this look it's somehow futuristic yet still nostalgic at the same time Time. and honestly it's a feast fest it's a feast fest because Janelle ate they ate for sure and I love their interview that they had at the top of the red carpet when they were talking about them being non-binary and the things that come along with that like I just really love them Billie Eilish I'm sorry we can't not talk about Billie Eilish Billie Eilish was the most on theme or if not the most one of the most she's definitely like top three most in theme like Billie in this Gucci dress come on the corset the hair like everything about it is just so on theme and it looks so good on her like yeah how could you not? How could you not? And finally, the last outfit that I feel like really did meet the theme and devour was Lizzo. Lizzo came and said, Gilded Glamour? Mm. All right. She pulls out a flute. Come on. She pulls out a flute and gives a whole recital. Like, if that isn't giving you everything that you need from a Met Gala red carpet, then what are you really asking for? Like, we want drama on the red carpet at the Met. And she gave that. Like, I know Lizzo is known for her damn flute. But the way that the flute was gold, too, and she was just going around being like, simply divine simply feast that there's nothing else to it and finally some honorable mentions of fits that were there i wasn't a huge fan of necessarily but needed to be mentioned olivia rodrigo i'm sorry people are gonna hate me for this olivia rodrigo i did not really vibe with the dress for the theme it didn't really seem on theme for me it kind of seemed kind of fantasy fairy princess which is okay cool she looks good she never looks bad but it just wasn't my favorite look so i'd say that she chewed maybe nibbled with this one and finally addison ray no hate to addison love that she's doing her thing but she did not eat here i'm sorry well yeah those are my uninformed opinions on the met gala this year like i said before there were some people that were on theme that really did eat but it really wasn't giving anything like super amazing like it wasn't giving transformations it wasn't anything especially jaw-dropping like years past like i know everyone talks about heavenly bodies being the best met gala to have done it in recent history this definitely was not that but you know what i will say this maybe the met would have been a little bit better if they would have invited whole baddie you know met gala behavior herself like if they would have invited whole baddie to the met gala maybe maybe things would have popped off a little bit more but you know that's neither here nor there but other than that guys i want to hear what you all think so let me know down in the comments below who you thought devoured feasted and who you think went home hungry i'd really love to hear your opinion so let me know again if you're new to the channel then hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss my post and to leave a like on this video because that helps out so 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 much make sure to follow me on my social medias instagram tiktok and twitter 
there all at emergency i just posted a new instagram picture in this suit so you should go check that out but other than that y'all thank you so so much for watching i've been emergency and i'll see you in the next video peace